In this video, we're going to cover the 10 most essential plugins to include into any new Gutenberg powered WordPress site. Hey guys, I'm John from Incomesh.com. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button to get more uh, videos of mine as I help you find the perfect tool for your next project. So there's 10 of these different plugins. So we're going to go really quickly. Let's go ahead and dive into the first one, which is the custom color palettes plugin for Gutenberg. Let me show you that real quick. So when you install the custom color palette uh, plugin, it's going to add a section here on your customizer, which is called custom color palette. And when you go into it, now you have the ability within Gutenberg to have uh, primary, secondary, accent, grayscale colors customized to the exact hexadecimal that you want, including primary colors here if you choose to have that. And those will now show up every time you are editing your post, whenever you have the options to include colors into something. So let's say we wanted to add in a button any color settings you'll have will now include those customizer set colors by the custom color palette uh, plugin. All right, number two is cadence blocks. And this is an amazing plugin that brings almost breezy like functionality to your WordPress site. The biggest feature that I like within uh, the cadence block plugin is this row layout. And if you go down here, you'll see a pre-built layout of already professionally designed sections that can already bring in your images, your icons, everything here is customizable and it brings a lot of great functionality to your WordPress site. The third plugin on the list is the Advanced Gutenberg plugin. And this is kind of a Swiss army knife of uh, different blocks that are useful for a bunch of different reasons here. So two of my favorites here are the plugin block where if you want to talk about a particular plugin like the Advanced Gutenberg block, you can just pull the plugin block in and search for the plugin that you want and simply once it pulls up here in the sidebar simply click on it and it will add in this very nice dynamic beautiful looking plugin card that will kind of advertise your plugin or a plugin that you're reviewing the other thing i like about this one here is the notice is one of the advanced gutenberg blocks and this allows you to easily add call outs for you know, informational purposes warnings <laughs> avoiding and uh customizing with icons and everything else. So a very, very useful uh, plugin for your site. Number four on the list is the Advanced Gutenberg plugin. Not to be confused with the Advanced Gutenberg Blocks plugin. It's gonna be very, very hard to tell all these guys apart, but I'll include links in the description below. And what's great about this plugin here is it gives you, again, a bunch of different types. I do like their testimonial block and their counter blocks. Let me show you those real quick here. So if we go into post, we can show our count up and this is where you can add in your header text, a number, so 999, and some description there. And when you save that and preview it, it'll show you this nice little animation. So very you know, beautiful, common type of uh, plugin there, or a block there that adds nice functionality to your website. Number five on the list is the Elementor Blocks for Gutenberg plugin. And this is an amazing plugin where Elementor as a page builder is looking to cooperate as much as possible and be as seamless of an experience to go in with this new editing experience with Gutenberg. So what they've done is they've created the way to design amazing looking layouts within Elementor and then import those in as blocks into the Gutenberg interface. Let me show you how that works. So let's say you're here on your Gutenberg website and you're typing away but then you wanna have your call to action or maybe some sort of a, a very specifically designed thing from Elementor. Well, they give you this block here called the Elementor Library. And when you add that in, it will pull in all of your templates that you saved into your Elementor um, library. And you can pull in, let's say a feature template. And so when you pull this in, it that's not the most beautiful thing here. So we can actually change this, change this out. Let's uh, remove this one and add another one in. Elementor library template and show the about us and this will pull in a nicely designed fully set up built in Elementor and editable in Elementor as well and if you don't have something predefined you can also go in and I'm just going to say library to pull in the Elementor library and you can create a new one right there from scratch it'll open up the Elementor interface you can build your template and pull it right in to Gutenberg very very seamless. All right, number six on the list is the ultimate add-ons for Gutenberg by Brainstorm Force. Now, this is the team that's behind the Astra theme. They're co-building cart flows and a lot of other amazing projects. I'm very much a fan of this development crew, and they've given you a lot of blocks that are very similar to what you'll find in their ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder and for Elementor. So 
automatically you're feeling much more at, at home and comfortable here in the Gutenberg editor. And I won't show you all of these, but just kind of scrolling through what they offer you. One thing that I definitely like and use quite frequently is their info box because that with one click pulls in an icon, uh, dividers, headers, and text. You can also add in easily call to action sections here by putting a button in or a text here as well. That makes it very easy for you to build out a feature set, a grid, and make it nice and pretty. Number seven is stackable Gutenberg blocks. And stackable and ultimate add-ons, they do have a lot of overlap here, which we'll cover that in number 10. Uh, but stackables, real the, the main things I like about stackable here, we'll scroll through what they offer here real quickly. I like two or three of theirs the most. What I like a lot is their video pop-up. You can quickly pull in a, a video that'll open up kind of in a, a light box on your screen there, and you can give it a nice little cover image. Because Gutenberg doesn't give you, def by default, a way of building those light boxes or pop-ups, so it's nice to have a plugin to do that for you. That's one that I like. I also like under Stackable. I like their feature grid. So similar to what Ultimate Add-ons offers with the icon box, this is very similar, uh, but I kind of like it better because you can already in one setup uh, go from three columns to two columns to four columns etc and you can um, put all the information in use images if you'd like change it out with your padding and all of that and it just looks really nice and is very efficient to build with so i like those features quite a lot from the stackable group all right number eight is called drop it and you guys are going to love this one what you can do with drop it you don't actually add it in from uh from your drawer of blocks up here in the top corner if you want to get in some stock photos you can click this little green water drop and let's say you want to find a stock photo of a cat you can search for those very easily and with one click hit the plus button and that will automatically pull it into your blog post and you know full resolution looks beautiful and it pre-applies the attribution down here from Unsplash. So, I mean, it doesn't get much easier than that if you want to add just a quick image into your blog post and you don't need to be this heavily customized image. Stock photos are fine for that purpose. What you can also do though, is you can upload the photo and use it as a featured image with one click. So what the upload button does is, let's grab a different one here. It, let's, I like this cat here. So we'll upload this photo. And what this is doing is actually downloading it from Unsplash and uploading it into my own media gallery so that if I wanted to do something that has maybe a background image, let me show you this here. So I'm gonna go to adding a, head, a header, which gives you the ability of putting a background image in. And if I get off of here and go to my normal control panel, I can select a background image and already magically in our media library is that image of the cat. So we'll select that. <laughs> we'll select that. And that turned out way funnier than I expected it to, but a great way to bring stock photos into your blog if you like cats and like an American beauty kind of weird way there. <laughs> so I'll leave that one to you guys. All right, next on the list. Next on the list is WooCommerce products. This isn't nearly as funny as the Drop It one was, but if you have products on WooCommerce and you want to be able to easily add them into your blog posts or anywhere else, uh, there's several of these packs give you the ability to add your products in as well, but WooCommerce and Automatic do offer their own. You can select products and you can individually select them or show all products and it will pull up uh, the ability for you to customize from four columns to three columns, et cetera, et cetera, and pull your products in with an easy add to cart button right there for you. All right, and number 10 is a little bit of a different one. So everything we've shown thus far is adding additional functionality to your Gutenberg blocks, but there's a problem when you do that, and that is you can have so much information, so much content, so many blocks to choose from that your workspace starts to get cluttered and then you lose efficiency. And worst of all, uh, you can start using one button from one product and then a, another button from a different product and they start looking weird and it's just not nice. So this plugin is actually one where you can remove or disable any Gutenberg blocks that you don't like and you don't want to use anymore. And most of these individual plugins, let me show you here real quick, most of the individual plugins offer you the ability to disable the plugins that they've given you. So for example, a stackable, let me show you the stackable one. So if we go over here to our stackable dashboard, now here you can scroll down and enable or disable the blocks within the stackable kit. But that's only so much useful because now you need to go into all these different dashboards and find just the block that you're trying to get rid of. I would rather have one place to, to do it all. So we have that ability here. If we go to our plugins, 
this one here is called Disable Gutenberg Blocks. And uh, if you go to Disable Blocks here, it will pull up all of the blocks you have in your entire toolkit. So you can see here we have uh, blocks from the Advanced Gutenberg Blocks. We've got blocks from um, ADVGB. But you've got everything here. So atomic blocks, embeds, this is where they exist in your drawer. So you can see you've got a lot of blocks here. There might be some that are unnecessary at this point, and you can quickly go through and click on it and disable it, and it's not going to break anything. It's kind of like if you were to remove the short codes. Um, it's going to leave some information there, but it, you can just disable it and make sure you go through and just check your posts and make sure it's all cleaned up. What I'd recommend you do is when you first install some, let's say you install Stackable and, um, ultimate add-ons for Gutenberg. Test out some of the things that overlap. If there's a testimonial block in Stackable and a testimonial block in Gutenberg, take a look at each of them, see which one you like more, and then disable the one right off the bat that you don't like. That way you have less chance of using the wrong one and, and having to make those micro decisions as you're creating your content because it just gets you out of the flow of doing your job and that's not what we want to do. All right, so I hope this was helpful. This was 10 essential plugins for your Gutenberg-powered WordPress website. If you want to learn more about Gutenberg, head on over to IncomeMesh.com. I'm launching a course very, very soon that's going to go into much more depth to make you an expert in Gutenberg way before any of your friends are, and it's going to be really, really fun and very affordable. So go head on over to IncomeMesh.com and check out the courses there. And if you need any other help with me and want to set up a free strategy call, you can go to my homepage right there. There's a big button that says set up a free strategy call. Call. I'd love to chat with you, see what you're working on, and see how I can help you. I'm John from IncomeMesh.com. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.